All right, hello and welcome. Um, we are here, getting ready to, I guess, confront Night Song and Balthazar. And uh, Balthazar is going to die no matter what. But here's here's one thing. Let me back out of that conversation real quick. Here here's one thing that I'm, I really sat on this at work today. Because sort of the theme of, of this game has been uh, destroy all feminism, and rightfully so. Uh, and the Night Song is the epitome of that fucking atrocious He-Man woman feminist cult. Um, and I really, really, really want to kill her. And I forgot that the evil version of the weapon will allow me to see in blindness. Which would give me three pieces, which would be huge for what I'm looking to do. However, I will tell you in the same breath, I don't know the repercussions because I've never killed the Night Song before. Out of the four playthroughs that I've done, I have not killed her. So I don't know what repercussions there are. And it is the evil act. And this has been a mostly good playthrough while justifying killing the two horrible feminist atrocities that plague this game, Lazel and Karlak. Um, uh, we could justify those in an RP way, get Yankee or evil, and Lazel kept threatening violence upon the party, so you died. And I got a benefit out of you with Bual's blessing, wherever that is. And, um... Where the hell's my Bilal's Blessing? Whatever, we have it. And... Karlak, you know, we got tricked into killing her. So, we could RP that. This, you can't really RP. This is just... You know, this is just me being greedy. Um, but... I'm gonna let Shadowheart decide the fate. Decide her fate here. I won't sway her. I'll keep my mouth shut. Um, I know what's gonna happen because I've done the option before, but uh, we will stick in this instance with... Uh, we're just going to stick with the like mostly good playthrough. So... Uh, so, Balthazar. We are going to kill this scumbag. He is completely, completely immune to poison, as will be every skeleton he summons. He's going to drink a haste potion, which is fine. He will cast Poison Cloud, Ray of Sickness. He, he's a very big poison user. He's highly resistant, or he is resistant to uh, slashing. They're all physical damage from non-magical and magical, which is fine. We can overcome that with uh, Oil of Sharpness. Uh, Undead Ward, he gives all the allied minions similar buff, which is fine. Uh, he does have... Uh, tch -tch -tch. Where is it? Magic Resistance, which is kind of a problem. Maybe, maybe not a problem, but it's annoying. But we, we're, we are going to crush him. doesn't really matter. Can't control him. Who cares? Grim Harvest. Once per turn, if you kill a creature with a spell, you gain its hit points equal to twice the spell slot. Okay. You're not going to be killing anything. Whenever you deal damage with a spell, deal an additional 1d8 necrotic damage. Sure. Undead Ward. Undead Allied within 20 feet of resistance. Yep. Turn resistance. So, nothing overly special. And I am, I think I'm going to lose my Elixir of Vigilance, which sucks, but we are going to be drinking uh, Poison Resistance on everybody. Yeah, I did lose it. So that's going to really go a long way. Gale. So Poison's going to be useless. A lot of this other stuff is probably also going to be useless. Shatter was a good idea. Because we get the thunder damage. Hold monster, I don't think is going to work on undead. No need to summon. Yeah. 
but I will. We have to get away from this ledge because these skeletons will kick us off. What do we want with you? Radiant's gonna be good. Beacon of Hope doesn't really mean anything to us here. Insect Plague doesn't really matter because the magical resistance that they'll get, because this is magical uh, physical damage. Um, you know, disadvantage in attack rolls against you. Also break enchantments. Charm, pride, but no. This is not going to do much for us. Contagion. We can't use it because we don't have the spell slot. Freedom of movement's not going to really mean much. Banishment's not going to mean much. Death ward, not going to mean much. Just... So I want to be concentrating beforehand. I mean, mirror image isn't going to mean anything. I mean, we don't we don't need that. So, How long has it been so far? Oil of sharpness. With my work. We apply Blade Ward. Everything will be poison immune, so it won't. Mm, can't use poisons. But. We will use. A Wizard Bane oil. I'm, I'm really growing to love that. So we'll put that on him. Apply blade board. Let's go. Get a little bit closer. Let's move. And we did use this, right? I don't know why I, I sat. I forgot that quickly. Yes. We are concentrating a protection for good and evil. I'm just pissing everything away, aren't I? I'm sorry for I know this is kind of annoying, but I will one day get better. So reapply Blade Ward. Why believe it? Because it runs out so quick. It's only two turns, so. No rest for the wicked, I see. And we 
really don't need another level two spell. What am I to do? What are you to do? <laughs> Move up. As much as I. I did not mean to start oh, that with her. Come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would be Justicia's blade directly to my heart? I invite you. Keep more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time. And you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aelin. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorn, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. Catherick. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thorn. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. We already knew basically figure that she was a person. What are you going to do with her? Bring her home. What else? Aileen is so much more than you comprehend. She is an Asimar, bound to a soul cage of my creation and lending her immortal strength to general form. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar. For maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin. Or I'll take it away from you again. And you. No more questions. No more interference. Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad I started it with her. I didn't realize I got this option. You're the one who interferes in Lady Shar's bidding. For that, you will die. Death only frightens those of limited vision. You should be terrified, godling. I really like Balthazar. He's fantastic. And I get to go first. Really? Oh, baby. Okay. That's only a 45% chance. Do I try it? For real, do I try it? Screw it. Yeah, he, he rolled, but we got a port and die, and we got it. Oh, man. Uh, tell me I've got an undead arrow. Tell me I have an undead arrow. I don't. Unfortunate. But it's okay. I do have... What do I have? Is there any way to get him silenced? Let's just hit him with, let's hit him with uh, a multi-attack arrow. We'll hit some others. We'll apply Wizard Bane to all of them. I'm not going to use Luck of the Far Realms here. I will hold off on that for this weapon. So when we get a crit, we'll get the 10 necrotic damage along with it. Okay, he has Wizard Bane oil. Maybe we can get a silence on him. He needs 
15 to hit. I rolled a 29. Oh man, we got him silenced too. You know what? I'll even give you guys a free opportunity attack. That was so successful, but I'm gonna fuck it up. You want one too, Balthazar? Nice stab, bro. Fucking clown. Now, this feels safe. Right here, I think this guy, if I were standing right here, I think this guy could still kick me off, so. Let's get up here. You can have one too. Everybody take one. How did you not get an opportunity attack? Oh, Balthazar. You poor bastard. <laughs> nice. Nice turn. Oh, sweet Jesus. And you give me an opportunity attack. You're just dead. Well, I can't hit anything on a higher level. That sucks, but it's okay. Um, let me do this. And away I go. A lot of work just to get up here. Yeah, just nothing. You're nothing. The game is just so easy. Christmas. Uh, get to the middle. Pop this, actually. Can we... That's good. That's a good spot. Yeah, I mean, Balthazar, I mean, just nobody is lasting. Um... haste. Anyone to sleep? Shovel. You put shovel to sleep. Uh, yeah, you could, yeah. Now why, why did Luck of the Far Realms not proc? When you successfully attack against the foe, you can change that hit into a critical hit. I successfully hit, but you didn't offer. You did not offer Luck of the Far Realms. 
I don't understand why. Why did I not move her? Not the world's biggest deal. Let's kill you. Or not. Oh, that's only level three, that's right. That's fine. I wonder if I'll have to go back and check the video to see if uh, her radiant damage or whatever would be affected by the shrieking sword or the shrieking of the sword. Yeah, was your mirror image is already gone? Did I waste that many turns? Dude, look at that. I mean, slow is just so good. No, you can't have a blind. Oh, wait, you're not slow. Thought I had you slow. Now look, there's luck of the far realms. Doesn't matter. Sounds like fun. And you didn't offer it again. That should be offered every time, should it not? Now you offered it there on the offhand attack. It's pointless to not use it on the main. I don't get it. So I don't know if this adds the shrieking damage or not. Unfortunately, I won't be able to find out. But we could drop the bless and we could go with radiance. Damage spirit guardians. One could always be a gentleman. You could have the opportunity to attack. You didn't get it. Why? I mean, I swear to God, people, this is on tactician difficulty. I know, oh, I did talk to my buddy. I had mentioned earlier in several videos about playing with him, waiting to hear from him, see if he wanted to play. He said he did. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I might record that. That might be interesting to someone. Uh, but unfortunately it will be with no mods and after the your gear fight after this fight I mean look I just need mods I need to increase the, the damage not the damage uh, the health of these things to let them live uh, just to give them a chance man this has been mind numbingly easy I'm deeply ashamed of myself in my very first playthrough for like halfway through the playthrough. Just go ahead. Uh, halfway through the playthrough, putting it back down to balanced. It was a uh, foolish thing to do. What should I do? I've got to press on. Peace. 
just like that. Come on down, Starry. I mean, Balthazar got to do nothing. I like I I don't care what anyone says. This is not like a damage uh, weapon. That silence is major. And the right fights, that is just major. And then you add the portent dice from Gale to make sure that that hits if need be. Like, Balthazar, I managed to actually go before him, which is kind of shocking. And, uh, I mean, you see how well that worked out. And one of these days, I will uh, go back to being a necromancer on a character. I did not enjoy necromancer. I actually got to this point in the game in my second playthrough to where I was using Gale as a necromancer. And I swapped into evocation right before I killed Balthazar to get this item. It's just summons are so tedious in this game. Everybody runs from them. They all have different reactions. And if you have undead or, you know, whatever, people will run. Like, I had, in the shadow fell, I had the uh, merchants chase me all over the map. They ran into the shadow curse. They didn't get turned, luckily. But they followed me. It was just, it was terrible. But one day I'll get it. Yeah, I'll give you three seconds to read this if you guys want to read it. Let Shadowheart handle uh, the upcoming part here. What's hiding here? So. Alright, Shadowheart, my love, do you think? Speak. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love. No joy, only servitude. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Keep your fucking Behind masculine feminist bitch bitch is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Trust Shadowheart. Don't interfere. Well, well, well. 
What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I... Empowered to kill the child of a god! Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. She makes a great Whatever point. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Uh, say nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Shah. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. I will admit, I do like this cutscene. Our Lady of Silver, hear me. She who guides the Moon Maiden Saluna. Fucking hate Mother this of feminine the so masculine night shit song. so much. The Night Song is no more. Reversing the roles is such a fucking terrible thing. Destroying our fucking world. And she fucks up so much. Like, you have shit under control later in the game and she fucks it up. I am resplendent. You have given me a great gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? Ready for what? To kill Ketherick Thor. Oh, I'm ready. to leave. Lady yes. Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. I agree. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm not sure there's a place that's far enough away for me to go. Lady Shah must be angry. But there's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there. And see what she's unleashed against Catherick Thorn. Yeah, agreed. I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when Shar comes calling either. Totally agreed.
And in my next playthrough, I will shut up about the woke and feminist and LGBT garbage they infected the game with. And if you don't like it, just stop watching. I mean, just, I don't care. Period. So, deal with it. Have anything of use? Maybe they have some money. They do two gold. I'm not above walking around collecting that two gold. I really need to consider on using these uh, speed potions. I mean, it's just making the game so freaking easy. Haste, I don't know, man. At some point, I promise I will do some research to uh, on mods to increase the difficulty. All right. There you are. You Forget all right? Me, Shadowheart, what happened? You were missing for a moment. I... I thought I was done for. I thought perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave, but Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but I had no idea. It felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught. Abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. Well, you're not alone. You have me. I suppose I do, don't I? You've done more to help me than my faith has in recent times, if I'm honest. Thank you. There's been something between us for some time. A connection. More than friends. I recognized it, but didn't act on it. I thought my faith was the most important thing in my life. I couldn't have been more wrong. That is I've squandered too much time already. Common. I want to be with you. Now and always. Do you want the same? 
I do. I've wanted this for a long time. It wasn't too long ago that I could never imagine smiling again. Shows what I know. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves. That's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Kethrick Thorm. All I can do is help hasten his demise. And hope that answers soon follow. Leave. When the chance arises, I must speak to Night Song again. Whatever she claims to know, it may just help me make sense of everything. We will. Let's go back in, and I mm -hmm. want to loot Balthazar's area. We can't travel there, can we? I don't know if the flesh golem is going to be here. I guarantee I won't be able to summon him. Or will I? We could try it. Oh yeah, carrying crawler temple. Maybe I'll take that. Pockets. We killed a chest up there. Interesting. I never noticed that chest before. Give that to a Starian, actually. I'll take reagents all day long. Grimishka Tail. Ray of Sickness goes to Gale. Where is there the urn? His mother. Just three bones. There's another one. Not her. I guess these were probably the ghouls, these viscera. Well, it's a candle, I'll take that. What's inside? Alright, so nothing much, but in my opinion, the reagents alone were worth it. Let's get to the last light in. Then there we'll you sell. are. What's happening out there? Who was that streaking across the sky? Isabel, I found the empty sarcophagus of Isabel Thorm, Catherick's daughter. Her breath catches. You notice a barely perceptible shudder run through her body. An unfortunate coincidence. I hope never to meet the wicked man who hemorrhaged shadows over this peaceful village. Well, whoever she is, she has a serious bone to pick with Catherick. She can join the club. Jahira and every fighting body in this place have gone to Moonrise Towers to face Catherick down. She's waiting for you there. End this. Now. We're all counting on you. You're not going to let me answer her question? Quick word. There you are. What's happening out there? Who was that streaking across the sky? Her name is Nightsong, an, Im an immortal Ketherick trapped within the Shadowfell. An immortal? But it couldn't possibly be. Never mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have him in a corner. Jahira and every fighting body yeah, and this. Alright, um, yeah, she's gone. I figured she would be. Is Damon still here? Damon? Damon? Yes. So we'll sell what we have. Did you see it? The path of light. That's good, right? Means we might make it out of here alive. Let me see what you have to sell. So. Don't waste my time anymore. Humanoid slaying. I want all your arrows, man. Oh, 
I'll be here if you. You know what? Let's just buy it. Isabel said we ought to sit I've got a obscene amount of money. Wait until we hear back from Jahira. I know she's right, but I can't wait to get moving. We have plenty of those. I'll take that. I'll be here if you need anything. Yeah, we got it. Okay, I will in the episode here for now. Ooh, I'm going to take that. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.